I'm Anthony Lawrence, a 1970 graduate of Nakarova, our cultural school. Firstly, you know, your school means a lot in the sense that um, as a resident school, it created an atmosphere for us to learn to live with each other, people from different walks of life and certainly from different parts of Jamaica. So you learn to coexist um, and work together to solve problems. Now that Jamaica is speaking a lot about STEM education, our cultural education is one of the few disciplines that cuts across all the STEM subjects. Um, so if we talk about science, you get very deep into the agricultural science that embodies all the other sciences, including chemistry, physics, and the biological sciences, um, animal and plant biology. And of course, um, you then get into the areas of technology, um, you know, do you harvest rainwater? How do you utilize the natural elements of sunlight, etc.? And the youngsters are now getting that exposure, which I'm very happy for. Things like hydroponics, um, how do you use um, waste to feed fish, etc., etc. Um, so that's good. And now technology, you know, in, including the use of the new and upcoming technologies, engineering, um, agricultural engineering has been a major discipline. Um, what I like to see though is that more of the youngsters are exposed to the technical side of um, you know, how do you repair tractors, how do you take care of farm equipment um, so that we can reduce our maintenance costs across Jamaica. So the school certainly doing agriculture has a lot to teach and, and sometimes we confuse STEM to restrict it to only high achievers in early stages, but if done properly, um, it can be really used for applied science and technology engineering that we so badly need. So I'm hoping that more people will be exposed to agriculture, not from the past century using machete and pickaxes, but utilizing technology, highly skilled people, well educated. Incidentally, unknown to a lot of Jamaicans, um, Nakalva would have produced some of our best scientists across Jamaica and across the world in the area of animal husbandry, field husbandry and agronomy in particular.